Grade 3 Math, number 75. Fractions of totals. These are going to be word problems, and you have to figure it out in a couple of steps. So, the first one we have here is, Emma has four green ponytail holders. One-third of all her ponytail holders are green. How many does she have total? So, there's several different ways that we can solve this, and one of them is we can draw pictures. Okay, so pardon my shaky camera here as I get my marker. So she's got four green ponytail holders, okay? And there they are. This is one-third of all her ponytail holders, four of them, okay? So four is equal to one-third. How many does she have in total if four is one-third of them? Well, we need to make this a group of one of three, right? So it'll be one of the three groups. So because only four of them are green, we can't make the rest of them green, can we? So we can make the rest of them another color, like maybe pink. If four of them is a third, then that tells us we need to make three groups. See? Because there's a three there. One, two, three. And we need to make the four one of the groups, which is what we did. So now, how many ponytail holders does she have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. She's got twelve. She's got twelve ponytail holders. A third of them are green, so that means one group out of three is green, and there's four in the group. Now, there's another way to do this. There's another way to do this without having to draw pictures, and it has to do with this. We took the important information from the word problem, four, and the other important piece of information is one-third, okay? If four equals one-third, all we have to do is say four times the denominator three, which is twelve, times one is twelve. And that tells us it's twelve. See? You want to try another one? Okay. Zach has three Harry Potter books on his bookshelf. All right, so. That's one Harry Potter book, okay? There's another one. This one's closed, okay? Here's another one. So here's his three books. Oops, sorry about that. I'm just not thinking right now, am I? So we got three books. One, two, three. These are his three Harry Potter books, okay? So we know that's an important number. Look at one-eighth of his books are of Harry Potter. These three books are one-eighth of his books. How many books are on his bookshelf in a total? So if three of them is equal to one-eighth, then we need to say three times eight. Three times eight is equal to 24. 24 times one is 24. Now let's see if this works in the picture way, okay? So, three books is one-eighth. That means we need eight groups, okay? That's how many groups we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need three in each group. One book, two book, three books. Four books, five books, six books. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and if that's 12, 
then this is four groups also. That must be another 12, and 12 and 12 is 24. So we were right. There's 24 books on his bookshelf. If three of those books are one-eighth of all of his books, then he must have 24 books in all. See? You can either draw pictures to help you figure it out, but you should always underline or circle the important parts of the word problem. Okay, let's try another one. Lisa has six used microscope slides. So we know six is going to be important. One-fifth of her microscope slides are used. So how many does she have total? New and used. Well, six is equal to one-fifth. Do you remember what we need to do? We need to multiply this number by the denominator. What is 6 times 5? 6 times 5 equals 30. So, she has 30 microscope slides. Now let's draw a picture and see if this works, okay? So, one-fifth says that we need five groups. One group, two group, three group, four group, five group. Okay? Here's our five groups. One of them is six used microscope slides. Well, that means all these other groups must be six also. And we got one, two, three, four, five. Five times six is 30. So yeah, she has 30 microscope slides in all. Six of them are used but she still has 24 clean, good ones that she can use. So when you're trying to find a fraction of a total, there's a couple of things that you can do. When it's a word problem, circle the important parts, like what is the fraction and what is the number, and then that'll help you. Draw a picture to help you figure it out. Pictures always help. I know college students who use pictures to help them figure out word problems. You can multiply the number by the denominator, and that'll tell you. What if it said how many were clean? What if it said she had six used microscopes, uh, used microscope slides, one-fifth of them were the used ones, how many were new? Well, then you would have to do this and figure it out, and then get rid of the dirty ones, the used ones and figure out what is left, and that would tell you 24 are new. So there would be a couple steps to that. You would have to do this part, and then you'd have to figure that you're going to take the used ones out, and then you would have to subtract it and get that the new unused ones, that she had 24 of them. Same thing with the Harry Potter books. If it said how many were not Harry Potter books, and three of them, which is one-eighth of them, you would have to figure out that he had 24 books and take three of them away, which were the Harry Potter ones, which would tell you 24 minus 3. That means 21 of his books on the bookshelf are not Harry Potter. So there would be a couple of more steps to that word problem, but not very hard to do. You could even do it with this one. If you wanted to find out what the, uh, how many of the other colors that she had that weren't green, you would figure that 4 was one-third of them, and you would do just like we did, and then you would subtract the four that were green, and you would know that she had eight that were not green. And just take it in steps. Not that hard to do. You can do it. That's how you find a fraction of a total or whole amount.